What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get into this video, I want to give another shout out to uh, a YouTuber that talks a lot about the aquarium hobby, uh, more specifically African cichlids within that hobby. Um, but I recommend this channel. This is uh, Ben Ochart. I hope I'm saying that correctly or Ochart. Um, this channel is definitely very informative and informational. Uh, even if you don't have African cichlids, he's got a lot of top fives, top five uh, what you should do, a lot of top five what you shouldn't do, um, how to properly clean large filters, um, how to keep your water super clear, uh, food recommendations. He's got he's got really everything. Um, and again, he's uh, very interactive with this community. Uh, he responds literally to every comment I put on any of his videos within. 10 or 15 minutes um, so if you guys like any of my videos make sure that you check out uh, Ben Ochart he's definitely got a high quality uh, set of videos out there and it's definitely worth checking out thanks guys okay guys I've got an exciting video uh, these two yellow fish here whoop the one that just chased away he's the male <laughs> he's got the darker fins on the bottom these two here and the female right there I don't know if you can see her mouth is swollen is actually they just mated I saw her spit out the eggs he fertilized them and she sucked them back up my tank is super dirty right now because I just kicked the filters back on and they always shoot out debris when they kick back on but in a couple weeks I'm gonna isolate the girl on top there wow the water is very dirty sorry about that I'm going to isolate the girl on top in a little cage that will float in this tank and she will spit out fry and then I'll raise the fry to eventually live in this tank. All of the yellow fish in this tank, all these yellow imbunas, they were actually born in this tank as well. So with that being said, we're just going to keep the cycle of life going. Uh, it's going to be very stressful for these two. Really, I should probably try to isolate her quickly, um, or I need to go buy some more. See how her mouth is swollen right there? The bottom of her jaw is all puffed out. It's because she's probably got about 30 eggs in her mouth right now. Now, these two are going to have a very stressful couple weeks. Either I need to separate them from the rest of the fish, or I need to get more hiding spots. My Venustis is getting in the way here. But the male is going to defend her a very hardcore. He's going to start fighting other fish that get near her. As you can see, it is chaos in here right now. And mainly because he wants everybody away. Um, so the best thing for everybody is I should either get more hiding, more rocks. Or really, I just need to get one of my, my bins that float in the tank. And I need to separate her so that she can just let the eggs develop. But I'm going to make sure that they're properly fertilized. I'm going to give them a few days and then I will, I will uh, separate her. I used to have an actual 10 gallon dedicated to separating mothers. Um, I don't have it running currently and quite honestly I don't want to set it back up. So I think the best case is that I'm just going to separate her inside the tank and uh, hopefully in a few weeks we can get some babies in here. I uh, just wanted to share this update with you guys. Trying to get one more good shot of them. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys.